hello hello guys this is Shar. welcome back to the channel thank you so much for returning now as you can see this is mr al be sure mr al B's around the world as he says about himself very handsome in this photo very snazzy um after he had a bout with death yeah I know you guys know, I know you guys have heard that he had a bout with death a few months back. Uh, sometime in 2023, he went into a coma for, I think, what, a month, a month and a half, two months, something like that. Out of the clear blue, guys, just out of the clear blue. And I know that uh, when his former wife, Kim Porter, um, Quincy's mom passed I know he was one of the first people to actually say that it was a herder um, especially since that coroner said that it was a herder and that he had to do more um, research and more testing on the toxins that was found in um kim porter's body he wanted to do more research but you know that man ended up getting fired and shortly after he ended up you know being unalive himself supposedly from natural causes and not too long after that i would say anywhere between six months and a year i'll be sure ends up in a coma out of the clear blue you know what i mean and um so he's saying that um you know he's going to be talking about that ordeal um and his journey back to recovery in a documentary style format um this will be the first time that i know of that he's spoke on his you know near death experience and he says it says albie shore says his new documentary will reveal how he ended up in a coma he says you're really gonna need or call Homeland Security for this one. So yeah, that's interesting. It's gonna be interesting. I'll definitely be tuning in. Um, yeah, it does seem weird. First Kim Porter. Um, supposedly she was writing a tell-all book. I heard the book was supposedly about how to ra raise respectful children in Hollywood but hey everybody named mama said it was a tell-all book okay fine it was a tell-all book and then you know after she passed her house got broken into nothing was really taking out of her home besides some laptops that she had interesting and then quickly after that diddy sold the home that kim porter lived in out there in toluca lake california then, um, you know, um, and it's not necessarily in chronological order as it really happened, but um, just to wrap it all up. And then her, the coroner said that it was um, that he was going to put a pause on the final um, cause of death because he was going to continue to investigate the toxins that was found in Kim Porter's body. Um, he said that it seems as though she had some type of toxins by way of nasal cavity, meaning layman's term look like that's the way she was poisoned through the net, through the nose. And, um, because she felt like she was having, um, symptoms of a cold, uh, she was, you know, taking those nasal sprays that help open up the passages when you're stopped up and congested and things like that but that is the way that apparently these toxins entered into her body and that coroner was going to continue to research that um and give his final findings uh because just on the first go round of his report he was indicating that it was foul play and that it was an urter you know, if you know what I mean, starts with an M. So, yeah. And after that, I'll be sure took it and ran with it and was saying that his ex-wife, Kim Porter, was murdered. And he was constantly saying that, you know, 
um, and adding people. He used to add Diddy when he used to say certain things. He would add his son. And um, mm -hmm. um, and not too long after this man was demanding to have more time to review uh, what he felt like he found, um, that man was fired. And like I said, later on, he was unalived himself. Um, they say it was from natural causes. Um, I don't know. I never did research the cause of death, um, for that man, but not too long after he kept saying that, um, he wanted to follow up and do more investigation on the cause of death for Kim Porter. He was let go from the coroner's office. He had been a coroner out there in LA for a hundred years, like 25, 30 years, something like that. And all of a sudden he just up jumped and got fired. And then months or weeks after that, the man ends up unalived. Weird, right? And then, um, and like I said, not in so much chronological order. It's not like these things happening in the way that I'm saying them. Um, but I'm just trying to wrap it all up. And then um, I'll be sure, you know, he would continuously here and there mention that Kim Porter, in his opinion, was ordered. The word starting with an M. And he would at people. He would at Diddy. He would at his son, Quincy. You know, he would at people. And I'm thinking Diddy was like, oh, you, you going to at me? You going to keep at me saying that crazy mess? <laughs> you going to keep at me? You going to keep putting my name in the same sentence as Kim Porter being unalived? Okay. I got you. I see you. And all of a sudden, um, I'll be sure has a near death experience where the man ends up in a coma for a month or two months or something like that and had to regain his um, ability to talk properly, I think, and walk. Um, so he is um, on the road to recovery. Is um, He's recovered, but I don't know if it's like at 100%. It may be. I'm not exactly sure. However... We will see and know all when he does this documentary, y'all, because he's coming out with a documentary about his near-death experience. It'll be the first time he's talked about it publicly, and he said that he is going to talk about it. It says, I'll be sure, says his new documentary will reveal how he ended up in a coma, and he says... Y'all really going to need home to call Homeland Security. So, yeah. It, it, it must be. It, it, I don't know. I'm going to be watching it. I'm definitely going to be watching it because I'm definitely interested. Um, yeah, it was a lot of strange things that happened um, as a result to... Kim passing, the coroner passing, I'll be sure getting sick. And prior to Kim passing, um, it was alleged that it was a um, a casket that was um, supposedly took two to three months to order because it was solid gold, solid gold caskets. They don't just have them sitting sitting around uh, because how expensive they are and, and they have to be pre-ordered. Um months in advance, at least a month, month and a half in advance. Supposedly Kim Porter had this kind of casket. Um, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess they just happen to have one. I never heard the, um, reasoning behind that. Like, you know, if that's true, how did she end up with one? You know what I mean? So I never ended up knowing that I, I, I never researched it, but I did hear that she did have one and they did say that um, when I say they, I mean the public, you know, it was researched by certain people that that particular casket, you know, had to be pre-ordered. But yet Kim Porter miraculously ended up having one because, you know, she was buried like I can't remember. But it wasn't it definitely wasn't a month after or two months after she passed. So there that's just that on that. So you guys drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think about I'll be sure in this new documentary and this tell all on how he ended up in a coma. Will you be watching? Are you going to be tuned in? 
drop down the comments i do talk back like the video subscribe hit your notifications until next time bye also really quick guys i just wanted to add this woman here um which is a doctor nurse i'm not sure what she is but i'll be sure accredit it's her to his recovery and you know part of the reason why he's here with us today to tell the story um her and jesus she is a big part of uh, why he's still alive now i'm not sure if this woman is you know like i said a doctor and ended up finding some foul play within his medical situation um or what but you know hopefully i, I would imagine she's going to be a part of the documentary and we will know at that time but yes i mean i'm i'm definitely sold on it i i definitely want to see this documentary and yeah, I just wanted to add that. That was a, a big part of the reason why I was so excited about him doing a documentary because the um, one of the people, the medical people that actually helped, um, you know, keep him in the land of, of the living um, either is going to tell her side of the story or he's going to um tell what she found or what what happened or what she alleges happened yada 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 so yeah i just wanted to add that but yeah please drop down in the comments tell me what you think like the video subscribe till next time bye we are going to be producing the lb shore life story so hold on to your hold on to your britches and you'll really understand how I ended up in a coma. You're really gonna need to call Homeland Security.